Hold up, everyone. This is Royal Highness King Ra Smubafak Bayami, the world's first openly African black gay king. And today I wish to give you a brief reminder of the summer solstice, which is now happening from June 21st, 2017 to June 24th. And the meaning of the solstice is that we are now in the northern hemisphere, the longest days of the year. We have more sunlight during these four days of June 21st through 25th than any other time of the year. Now, I want to give you a tutorial on what's happening in terms of astronomy and what's happening in terms of spirituality. We'll look here at this image here, which shows north, south here, east and west. The sun, of course, rises in the east comes up, hits the southernmost point of the sky, and then sets in the west. So the sun moves in these kind of hula hoops. And here it's showing where my cursor is, sunrise today, June 21st, summer solstice. And then where this E is, the second hula hoops arc is sunrise on the equinoxes, fall and spring equinoxes. And then over here, this short little hula hoop, starting here, you just follow the arrows going up, show you where the sun rises on the winter solstice, the shortest day of the year, the longest night of the year. So you should think of these hula hoops, think of it almost as a big coil, like a hurricane or a vortex that gets smaller at the south and then gets wider and wider and wider as you go towards the north. Okay. They only show three hula hoops, but it this is a the sun rises every morning. So it's looping like a spiral, getting smaller and smaller and smaller when it gets cold, and back warmer, bigger, bigger, warmer, warmer, back at the summer solstice. Okay? So that's how it is. So this is a giant slinky that tapers at the end. Okay? Now so right now, the sun would be, let's say, here. And notice what's happening with these hula hoops. The sun, here we have, let's see, we have a little sun will be here. One, two, three, four, five, six, then seven. That's noon. When the sun hits this purple line called the meridian, that's called noon. So this is noon on the summer solstice. But you see the sun is up a lot longer in the summer. There are, little, there are more little suns showing. In the fall and spring equinox, there's a little less sun time in the sky. And look how little time the sun's in the sky in the winter. You see? So we have a lot more heat, a lot more sunshine hitting us in the summer, and a lot less here in the winter. Okay, now that's the basic physics. Okay, the zenith means the point over your head. That's all zenith means. Okay, now, what's happening spiritually on the summer solstice? Well, these three, these actually four points, you have summer solstice and then winter solstice, and you have two equinoxes, which is spring and fall. So it's really four stations, although only three little points shown here. What's happening is in the summer solstice, the comedic ancestors, the ancestors, get off of this boat. This is called the boat of Ra. Ra means the sun or the life force or the energy of the universe personified. And he's shown as a hawk because energy can be programmed. As hawks can be trained, you can also train your energy. So, as the god of the sun disk, the sun is a circle, meaning cycling or reincarnating. So, on the summer solstice, those four days, they don't show it here, but there are actually human souls inside the boat of Ra. These are souls that survived the winter solstice here back in December 21st through 25th, who survived the judgment scene in the afterlife. 
what's called the weighing of the heart. They survived it, they passed it, and between December and June, they were preparing to come back in this boat, June 21st this morning, and the souls that passed the test in December get to leave this boat, their spirits can leave this boat, showing their spirits here, and they can look for wombs, women's wombs, to be reborn in. So these four days, the great ancestors are zooming through the atmospheres, the ethers, searching for wombs to be what? Reincarnated through. The summer solstice is this door where women who become fertile for the rest of the half of the year between now and December, they will start receiving souls hovering over the nuptial bedroom chambers on earth, waiting to enter a womb during sex for a couple and come back as a little baby. The winter solstice is this one. It's into the door where you're going in to be judged. If you pass a judgment, you come out. It takes you between this door and this door. It takes six months from winter solstice to summer solstice and then the baby the baby's soul we see their spirits here this is the physical body this is the astral body uh, this is the soul there are layers to you comes back looks for a womb and reincarnates so the summer solstice particularly the sunrise in the morning and at noon in the golden beetle system, the system that I have brought back from Kemet, we do the ceremonies to the returning ancestors. We welcome them back. We do prayers, words of power. If you join in the chakra astrology initi initiations, at different points of the summer solstice, I will give the words of power that help to bring back in your family line the high ancestors to wonderful wombs, wonderful families, wonderful living conditions. Without that word of power, it's very difficult for the returning souls to perfect the finding of the most ideal mother, father, family to be reborn through. Okay, so this is how it works. Now, I discuss more details about the summer solstice, in great detail actually, in a text that I wrote called The Serious Star Spell. This is an, one page from it, where I discuss the comedic words for planetary features, eclipses, it's called Neshenu, and what we call our little lords, called, lords called Heb Unut. I go through the words of power for the planets which you can also get online, oh, I'm sorry, on a web page. You can get those words of power. It goes through how I organize the calendars, how to use cycles, how to work with your life cycles, how to use meditation throughout the year. I talk about fixed stars. I talk about Jyotish or Indian astrology, and it's linked to comedic astrology. It's very involved, but easy to follow text on how to work with astrology from a comedic point of view. So yes, this is how we understand things to work. Let's get back to our other page here. And may you enjoy the summer solstice. And again, you can get the music, by the way, here at this link here or the book at this link here. Okay, so may you enjoy your summer solstice. May you have the greatest light of your life now. May you make very clear plans for the next year, which is discussed in detail how to do that in the book, the Serious Star Spell book, shown here. And we wish you and your ancestors a very happy and luminous return from the spirit world back to we humans to fulfill their destinies on Earth. May you help your ancestors and give them a helping hand. Dwawend Hotepu.